Welcome to Dwarven Kager, I'm Tanner, and today we're back for another Budget Booze Review! For those of you who don't know, that's when we take a budget bottle of alcohol, meaning under $30, and we give it a good review. Today we are reviewing, and I honestly don't know how to say this, but I think it's Effen? Effen? E-F-F-E-N? Vodka? What this is, is a black cherry vodka. Black cherry and vanilla flavored vodka, pardon me, imported from Holland. This comes to us at about $22, so it's under our $30 limit for a budget booze review. And it comes in at 37.5% alcohol by volume, meaning it's 75 proof. So let's get in there. Then we're back. All right, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. This is awesome. So I love cherry, black cherry flavored stuff. I love the taste of cherry. It's one of my personal favorites. I also love vanilla. So combining the two is super exciting. This partially loved bottle was given to me for a review, so I'm very excited about it. Uh, I like the bottle. It's classy, right? Um, I jokingly in my absolute video review, check it out, said that this is going to look cool and classy as hell on a bar. And uh, I would say the same thing about Effen Vodka. I don't know if it's actually called Effen. I'm going to say Effen. That's Effen hilarious. All right, let's get in there. Not a cork, it's a screw. <laughs> Let's get in there. So, cherry, cherry, cherry. Being a lover of the taste of cherry, I scrutinize it just a little more. What am I looking for? I don't want it to have a syrupy flavor. I don't want it to taste like I'm having cherry cough syrup. That's not what I'm looking for in a cherry flavored, honestly anything, but especially in alcohol. I want something that's gonna blend well. Because let's be honest, you can drink stuff like this on the rocks, but it's really, I think, gonna shine in like a Coke, Sprite, ginger ale type of setting. Or something I've even done is when you're making a cocktail that calls for rum, think uh, Long Island or even like a uh, rum sunset, sex on the beach, something like that. I like to throw in a slightly flavored vodka, like a cherry vodka, to give that extra little pop. All right, shut up, Tanner. You are blabbing too much. Thick legs like I like them. This is hugging that glass. I pour myself kind of a big shot. Completely clear. Uh, a black, dark cherry uh, smell. And boy, I don't get any vanilla in that. It's this black cherry smell. Um, it smells good though. Man, that smells just like a maraschino cherry, actually. All right, cheers. Interesting. Smooth, a little cough syrupy, I'm gonna be honest with you. Smooth, though, all the way down, no burn. You immediately get hit with the roll of a cough syrupy um, cherry that's kind of dark. I, I, I need to get back in there a little earlier because I, I mean, the vanilla is such a flash in the pan that if you didn't tell me it had vanilla, I may not have known to look for that. It's not bad. It doesn't burn. It is vodka, so I think um, it's a little less sweet than like your cherry flavored rums and things like that, obviously. You lose some of that sweetness. Drinkable, for sure. This is very drinkable. And actually, because it lacks some of the sweetness that you're gonna find in cherry rums and things like that, and even vanilla rums and things like that, I'm gonna suggest that you probably do something lighter like Sprite with this or make it a mixer for just a little extra complexity because I really don't think it has the backbone to support a, how do you, like just a rum and coke. I just don't think it has enough of its own flavor to do that. It's not bad, it's, uh, okay. So F and Vodka made expertly distilled from um, wheat grain, deliciously enhanced with natural black cherry and vanilla flavors. This is a product of the Netherlands and uh, it's imported through Chicago. It's okay, it's, it's not bad, it's not great. Anytime I pick up a black cherry or a cherry flavored anything, I think I have high expectations. This kind of misses it for me, 22 bucks, 21, 22 bucks. I don't know, man. You had me at 15. You don't have me at 21, 22. Because of that, I give it a 2.5. It's serviceable. It'll get the job done. But it's a blow of my mind. And is it going to have a regular spot in my liquor cabinet, which is right over there? It's not. So, like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dorman Kager shenanigans. And if you are looking forward to support the craziness here at Dorman Kager, hit us up in that Patreon link below. And while you're down there, 
hit that like button, hit that bell, hit it twice so you know when our cigar videos are coming out, our beer review videos are coming out, the budget booze reviews are coming out, our shenanigans, our rants, we're doing a lot of things. Why? Because we love it and we love you guys. Thank you very much. And if you have a budget booze review that you want me and the crew at Irving Kager to review, drop a comment below. Let us know if you're out there. We're so lonely. Anyway, till next time, it's a serviceable vodka. I wouldn't go out of my way to find it. It does all right. Cheers.